This one got a lot of views. This one got a lot of views, but everything besides that has kind of just been like, I don't know, in the 40,000 range. And like, I, I don't, I, yeah, I, mean, I was kind every, of expecting to be getting like 100,000 views a video, you know? So. Not every video is going to like, you know, do great. It's, I feel like that's the thing with all this like content creation stuff. It's like, yo, what's up guys? Hey, How are we yo. doing? What's up? What's this up? is uh, my uh, subletter spot. Uh, yo, what's oh, up, man? Hey. Nice to meet you. So yo, question. How, how Are people using this bathroom that much upstairs? Uh, yeah, I mean, gotcha. they definitely yeah. use it. Yeah, all right. Just curious. What were we working on? I I was just kind of going over my YouTube channel. I've, Dude, you I've too. Been, yeah, I've been yeah. like, I basically started six months ago. And oh. like ever since my first video, I just feel like, I don't know. Dude. Views have been going down, comments have been going down. Yeah. Yeah. I uh I used to do that. I used to do YouTube and TikTok and all that. I had eight hundred thousand followers. Holy shit, are you serious? I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Oh my god. And you want some advice for what you should do when yes, you're when I you're would, coming down? Dude, I, I I'll show you, so. dude. I'll show you. Don't look at that shit. The feedback should come from yourself. The feedback from should come from your nuclear family. The people okay. you trust. Don't worry about what the algorithm is trying to tell you, you know what I'm saying? I learned that the hard way. Let's just say that. Uh, okay. Okay. So you cut could. everybody else out. Don't think about what I did in the bathroom just now. Don't think about any of this distraction that's going on. Just focus on your well, shit. Hey, what'd you, well, what'd you just show he's, he's about to get to what'd you do in the bathroom? Just focus. Just... This is what I'm talking about, is you're gonna have people trying to distract you. Yeah. People trying to Mm -hmm. Whisper in your ear, celebrities even, models. Well, it's just everything else you said was kind of big picture stuff, but then you mentioned that you did something in the bathroom. I don't know if you do. You, I don't you see how that's that? relevant at all. I'm Cook. becoming frustrated with you. Okay. Do you want to know my number one rule to success? It's vulnerability and it's focus. So you need to focus on making your shit. You need to tune everything out. Cut the dead Cut the dead weight. Don't think about other distractions. Don't get distracted by Cook's behaviors. Don't get distracted by what I've done in the bathroom. Don't get distracted He's by... He's talking about the fucking bathroom dude, again. Dude, I mean, this is literally... I'm trying to fucking... You know what I'm saying? Cook, this is like the first guy that I've met in this business that actually knows what the fuck he's talking about. I keep bringing up the bathroom like a fucking pervert. He like, keeps bringing it up. I'm not... I, I'm just... Dude, he said it like once or twice. Like, chill. I'm super sorry about him. Like, he gets... This shit is I'm water. Not, dude, I'm not... Okay. This shit is water off my back. You know what I mean? But I, can I get vulnerable for you guys right now? Yeah, of course. What? Can I do something for you guys? How could this be done? It's just smiling sweet, ha. Huh? You see, I'm getting up, I'm moving my body. I'm not just a still frame. Oh, I want to see that pretty face. It's such an ugly word. Something so beautiful. While every time I look inside, I know she knows that I'm not fond of asking. Don't think about what I did in the bathroom. I know she knows that I'm not fond of asking. True or false, it may be what she still had to get me. Don't think about the bathroom. Oh, please don't let me down. Please don't think about that. Please don't let me down. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Vulnerability goes so fucking far, and it's not just, hey, sorry, this. It's using your body. It's being moved, being fluid, letting them know that you're taking a risk. You know what I'm saying? I just can't. I can't help but notice you really worked in the the bathroom thing to the song Dude, too. Would you would you chill out for a second? I am kind of now wondering about the bathroom. It just seems like you've met. You have mentioned the bathroom. It seems so weird to me that I come in here and I'm giving my years of knowledge. I'm giving my new years of expertise to you, and you're trying to come at me for something that I don't, I don't understand. I'm. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I, actually, frankly, I gotta get. I gotta get out of here. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I gotta go. And um, I just want to say it was nice living with you. Um, Wait, what? I, you you're just, moving out? Dude, you're did I not tell you? Like, I'm going fucking moving out tonight. They're flying my ass out of here tonight, TEDx. Holy shit. Yeah, I know, man. It's been well, so dude, fucking I good. I want to say thank you yeah. so much. Like, I'm still so, like, like, I'm like rooting for you. So what are you giving a TED talk about? On like religion, sexuality, TikTok, um, violence. I wish I could pay. I, dude, I feel like I just got I a don't, TED talk. I don't know? need the money. I'll just say that. I don't need the money right now. I got a nest egg. Okay. My parents died uh -huh. a couple weeks ago. But, yeah. um, and I want to say I'm very sorry for what's occurred up here in the bathroom. And uh, I wanted to ask, could you 
Um, unlock this. There's a lime scooter down there. I don't have my phone on me. Could you just? Sure. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. And dude, it's all good. Okay. Um, I hope the channel goes well, guys. You guys seem uh, like good boys. Thank you. Of course, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll be waiting downstairs. All right. I'll see you later, Bye. man. Bye. Holy shit, that guy was so fucking sick. Damn. Dude, and just like that, he's gone. I think that was like the coolest guy I've ever met. Yeah, I mean, should we check the bathroom? Dude, what's with you in the fucking bathroom? He kept mentioning man? it, I don't know. Did you not notice that? All right, you know what? Here, give me the camera. Let me okay. take it. I'm gonna go check, all right? I don't want you going in there. You have this weird fixation on my bathroom. Dude, I don't, so okay, I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't even care, you go, you go. I don't want you like looking through my care. meds and shit. Oh, I'm a cook. I'm a pervert. I want to see your toilet. Can I see your toilet? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So yeah, I fainted, but you fucking would too if you could feel the heat coming off of that thing. I'm not gonna lie, once I woke up and realized what had happened in my bathroom wasn't some sort of like hallucination, I was pretty upset. I felt betrayed. I still kind of like mentally was in shock, but then I realized that Spot is literally one of the most successful people I've ever met. And he wouldn't just like do that to me if it didn't have some sort of bigger meaning. And by taking a huge 70 pound shit in my toilet, Spot wasn't disrespecting my space. He was actually giving me a gift. Like I'm gonna be able to make probably the best thumbnail that I've ever made for my YouTube channel with that thing. And this video is probably gonna get like a million views and I'll probably get like a brand deal and um, I'll have like a wildflower case. What I learned from this whole situation is basically that Spot was right. I, I do need to be more vulnerable. This channel doesn't just have to be all the cool things that happen to me, how cool my friends think I am. I can also show when bad things happen to me too. Basically what I'm saying is sometimes the bad things in life that you are so sure are terrible are actually good things. And you can learn from those things and with the right perspective, they can actually help you. All right guys, I gotta go back to breaking down the huge shit into smaller pieces so that I can get rid of it. But as always, thank you so much for watching. It really means the world to me and I'll see you in the next one.